Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to our daily reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on for us at the time we watch this video. Keep an open mind. Take what resonates as it resonates with you. Use your own discernment. And thank you as always for all the love and support you show me each and every single day. I send it right back to you. All right, let's see. For my subscribers, daily energy and advice. And stay tuned, I will be doing a monthly for August and I'll go through all the signs and do the timestamps. Um, and hopefully you'll like the video, you'll interact with it and we can keep it going if, it, if it's something that you enjoy and you find useful. All right, Ooh, hold on. Oracle energy and advice for my subscribers for the day. Oh. That's too many cards. But maybe someone needs to hear this and ask yourself this. So we have Starseed, what lights you up? Meaning your answer lies in the option that gives you the most joy. That makes you feel happy. That makes you feel optimistic. If you stripped everything else, right, in the perfect world, what would make you happy? That's your answer. All right, Oracle Energy and Advice for my subscribers for the day. And once you have that figured out and you start asking yourself, okay, how could I make that happen? It becomes a goal rather than a dream because we know there's a way to make it happen. We're asking how I can make it happen. You're gonna find your answers, you know? Hey, that just came through. So hopefully someone needed to hear that and you got some, some guidance. All right, let's see what we got for today. First card representing the influence of the past on our current situation, what has happened before, or what is happening as you're coming into the day or coming into the reading. We have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands talks about taking a stand, defending your position, defending your title. Um, it could be feeling a little bit defensive or you know, being asked to or you wanting to stand up for yourself, explain yourself, um, defend an action you took, something you said, explain your reasoning etc. It could also be a, an increased focus on um, security, making sure you're safe, making sure your investments are safe, putting up boundaries or putting up uh, protective measures. On a day-to-day -day level, it could be changing the locks or getting a lock for something, right? So that's the energy of this um, Seven of Wands. In today's energy, we have the Chariot, another Seven, Cancer energy. Progress, movement, standing up for yourself. Today, you're going to overcome some sort of block. Today, you're just going to walk through it, bulldoze through it. Um, and if it's something that you're not sure of or you're not sure how to approach or you're not sure what to do about, this is telling you, again, defend your position. Take a stand. Don't back down. Um, it's not necessarily about being confrontational. This is more of a defensive energy, right, a protective energy but it is being firm and immovable, right? We're not going on the offensive, but we're not moving. This is what we're doing, right? This is what's up, this is what's happening. These are my terms, these are my conditions. That's not gonna change no matter how many times you come at me. That kind of energy and attitude, right? Is what is required for you to just completely smash through um, a block, an obstacle, a challenge, and come out victorious, get what you want. Okay, so it's, it's, it's especially important in any sort of negotiations, any sort of um, meetings where you discuss terms, conditions, expectations, whether it's in a professional realm, in a personal realm, okay? Fight for what you want and you will get it, basically. And again, with the Seven of Wands, it's not a case of being offensive. It's not a case of going on the attack, right? It's rather, these are my terms and conditions full stop, end of story. I'm not backing down. I'm not compromising. This is it. This is my breaking point. This is my deal breaker. This is this is it, okay? We negotiated back and forth. These are non-negotiables, okay? Where things are gonna go from here? Look, we have the Five of Swords. You're gonna, you're gonna have victory. It will be a hard fought win, okay? Uh, people are not necessarily gonna be happy with you. People are not necessarily going to be um, impressed with you, um, but they'll 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 cave. 
they'll give in they'll you know I feel like you're dealing with situations where you would usually you're the one to be the bigger person you're the one to give in or give up you're the one to um, just allow things to be for the sake of peace you're the one who's more likely to um, give in to someone else's will again just to keep something moving or just to keep the peace or you know whatever um, you're the one to forgive first you're the one to apologize first even if you didn't mess up you, you know you're you're that person you're the bigger person usually and you might be dealing with a situation where someone is now expecting you it's one thing when we choose to be the bigger person it's one thing when we choose to give in or we choose to forgive or we choose to allow something and it's very different when someone expects it from us or actually demands it from us right I feel like that's going to rub you the wrong way and I feel like that leads to you saying listen wait a minute I can let you have that I don't care this no and they're going oh but what if but but you know always you know they try to sweet talk you they try to intimidate you they try to bully they try to you know bluff and they're going I said what I said oh but what about I said what I said oh but no 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 I said what I said it's not irrational it's not too much it's not this it's not that it's what's fair we both know it it is what it is you take it or you leave it is that kind of attitude and this person is gonna have no choice but to say yeah okay you're right or yeah okay you, you can have it whatever it is right and the oracle <laughs> look at the oracle we have star seed what lights you up what makes you happy you're gonna have to defend it you're gonna have to protect it you know and it comes back to for the givers and the nurturers you give and give and give and give you have to have something that is just for you and it could be that someone pushing you to that breaking point you know when you look at them and your eye starts to twitch you said what you want what I should do what I'm give you what that is showing you where your non-negotiable is that is showing you when you have a problem giving when you never used to that is showing you that that's something that you shouldn't be given that's why you have that reaction to it okay and so when that becomes clear hold on hold on that's a non-negotiable hold on no 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 we don't do that here then you stand up for yourself and you put up boundaries and you protect yourself and you say no and trust me the world will keep spinning and actually you might gain some respect and actually you might gain something that is yours to begin with or you're protecting something that is yours okay and just for you we have to have those non-negotiables we have to know what they are because th they tell us where our boundaries are and we, when we can let something go and when it's time to stand up and say no uh, or nope 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 not happening up to here these are the terms and conditions I said what I said non-negotiable etc okay it's important if we don't know our non-negotiables we have no boundaries we have no limits and we end up usually being depleted and taken advantage of because we have no limit to giving and people don't have a limit to taking either so that's why this is coming up okay it's very important so you're being shown a non-negotiable today something that is just for you something that just gives you joy something that just makes you happy it's just about you it's just for you it may be challenged or someone might be trying to take it or someone might be trying to have access to it get access to it and you'll you'll just you'll have a, a very defensive physical reaction okay you'll get tense like I say your eye will start, start twitching you'll start twitching you'll clench your fists and that's the moment where you have to see yourself and go oh this is my non-negotiable this is one of my non-negotiables and then decide what the best approach is to protect that because that's yours that's just for you okay and on a day-to-day -day level this could be where someone's asking you to give them things that they have no right to or you could even have come into some success some money some you got a gift from someone you're getting very positive attention from someone and here comes someone that's just trying to take it from you or they expect you to give it to them they expect you to share with them they expect you to you know and you might have to say wait a minute no no up to here from this point on this is mine you have no access to it you have no right to it 
Whether I share it with you or not is my choice and with that attitude is gonna be a no thank you. Okay, it's very important to have an understanding of your non-negotiables that shows you your boundaries and then stand up and say no. That's all you have to do. You don't have, it doesn't have to be an argument, it doesn't have to be a fight. No is a full sentence. You don't have to explain yourself if you don't want to. You don't owe anyone anything with this energy, okay? So, interesting. That is what I have for us today. Let me know how this resonates with you. If it does, let me know what you got going on. Um, but yeah, you're, you're coming out on top, you know? So, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great day. Stay tuned for your monthly for all signs, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.